Hey, here is a luscious version of the famous Gratin Dauphinois. An upside down potato gratin without any cream. Let's make some clarified butter first. Melt butter on low heat and when it begins to simmer, skim off the milk solids. That's it. Next, cut, peel and chop the onion. And by the way, it does not really matter what knife you want to use in order to chop an onion properly. A filet knife, actually, can achieve remarkable results. Next, smash and peel garlic and chop fresh rosemary or thyme into fine dust. And for this task, you'll need a large chef knife. Beautiful, in a saute pan, sweet the onion along with the bay leaf and olive oil for about 15 minutes on low heat. Without browning, add garlic and deglaze with the wine and reduce to dry. Then add the jus. Here, turkey jus, but chicken, duck or beef jus can be used as well. There's so much flavor in there, it is just insane. If you don't have jus, use reduced chicken or beef stock. Cook down for 10 minutes on low heat, discard bay leaf and blend. This is flavor. Next. Cut out a square of parchment paper slightly bigger than your pen. Fold into triangles. Place the narrow point of your triangle in the center of your cake pan, measuring and marking where you reach the edge of the pan. Cut at your mark and unfold the sheet. You should have a circle that perfectly fits inside your pan. Grease generously the pan and the parchment with the melted clarified butter and start peeling the potatoes. With the help of a mandolin slicer, carefully cut potatoes into two millimeters slices. Cut some out in round shape using a cookie cutter. Overlap them in circle on the bottom and sides of the pan and brush generously with butter. The most important thing are the bottom and the sides because remember and like the way the tarte tatin is built, it is an upside down concept. Add layers of potatoes, jus mixture, pepper, herb, and parmigiano, and repeat these steps until done. Then cover the gratin with parchment and foil. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius for about 90 minutes. Remove parchment and foil and bake again. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.